Okay, what have we got here? Jonathan Allen, number 88 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2022. He's a defensive end. Um, you know, he's most likely going to be an absolute monster. And uh, with that in mind, let's look at some stats. Jonathan without the H. All right, then. He is a two-year athlete. He has been in the league for two years, two short years. Six foot three, 300 pounds. That's pretty standard. Um, Alabama, sorry. No, he's been in the league for five years. And made his first Pro Bowl appearance last year. And came into the league with the 17th pick, round number one of the 2017 draft. Played at Alabama from 2013 to 16. So it was a full four-year college football career. He's been a Washington commander the entire time which I like to see and uh, he's had 264 total tackles 26 sacks over five seasons two fumble recoveries and one pass deflection well I tell you what he's doing it eyes he wears number 93 love that number he keeps a fresh lineup look at that the hair is perfect those three reasons are why I knew he was gonna be great it's not as fresh as yours, Mike. Let's be fair. Been fortunate to play against him twice a year, ever since his rookie year, and to watch that maturation and development go. This guy's a combination of the big guys that use finesse and the big guys that use power. And you don't know which one you're going to get and it's very scary, I would think, for an offensive lineman. Bro, we're getting a little spooky out there, bro. It's easy to see how scary good Jonathan Allen is. However, it takes a closer look to understand why he is such a nightmare for He's offensive playoff Lenny. He can you know, do the reading things that are tough in certain run situations and make it difficult. John Allen with the tackle there. But actually, come to think of it, so he's a defensive end for the for the Washington team. And on the other side of the ball would be Chase Young, right? And then you've got Montez Sweat. No, not Montez Sweat. It's, um... Who were those two guys? The two guys on each end of the, um, defensive line. It was Chase Young and... No, it was... It was Montez Sweat. So that must mean... That must mean they've got three absolute gun defensive ends on the team but they still can't get into the playoffs oh well quite the season here's a showcase night for John Allen and then at the same time he can jet upfield hit you with a quick arm over this is just a tough matchup for the young left guard John Runyon it's just gonna run right around him he really mixes it up which keeps you on your toes now more than it used to watch this pick stunt watch Jonathan Allen he's gonna Let's go across the center's face Pick the left guard and then just continue. Oh, up. that is I like so that. That is some real lateral movement. Hard on these offensive linemen, right? Shit, yeah. There's no way that that you know, an oversized lineman. I'm not sure if that's even a thing, but someone who doesn't have the lateral ability. Yeah, yeah, there's no way you can stop that. So that's that's the reason why Aaron Donald, sorry, Aaron Rodgers was sacked. I suppose. You really don't know what's coming with that guy. He keeps offensive linemen confused. He's big and strong enough, and he's explosive. Now that's a sack by Jonathan Allen. While being blocked, able to pull him down. Jonathan Allen just keeps fighting, keeps fighting, and he's able to just grab onto a leg. He got the crazy hump move. <laughs> His hump move. Hump move? Hump move. Is that... I'm, I'm thinking like a swat plus a, a hip thrust at the exact same time. Let's have a look. No. I can't do it, but it's like uh, they doing a real... He kind of do a real... But instead of ripping, he take his arm and throw the offensive line. He just got thrown again. 
it's just funny to see him throwing some of the offensive linemen. Watch Allen right here. He's going to come here. Boom. And when he hits the center right there, he's like, oh, you can't grab me? All right, I'm just going to keep pushing up the field. An incredibly gifted physical athlete and powerful guy. And whenever you have athleticism and power, Boy, Allen is good. those are guys you don't like blocking. Jonathan Allen's one of those guys that will absolutely wreck a game. That's a great thing about football. Every series, you get another opportunity to be great. Whereas 93 is a fresh lineup. What more else can I say? Must admit that that final quote that we heard from old mate Allen, who said, you know, every set, um, you do have another opportunity to be great. And, and, you know, what comes to mind with that is that they do have an opportunity to sit down, get their breath back. They might even take in some oxygen. And then they can go out there with, you know, 110% power and go for it. And uh, that's just something you don't get in the game of rugby, especially for the big fellas. You know, they're, they're running around just as much as the small fellas. So it's, it's not really, I don't know, it's, uh, it's something I wish we could have in the game of rugby, but it's just not the, it's not the case. A rugby player is a complete and utter hybrid. You have to be, these days, to play professional rugby anyway. You know, the big guys up front do have the speed um, to, uh, sorry, the fitness and the speed to sort of have the best of both worlds. Anyways, guys, we're not talking about rugby here, but we are talking about NFL football. And in the next one, we're looking at Denzel Ward, cornerback for the Browns. There he is in all his glory. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.